Hello, Seriosity here and welcome to another StarCast TV cast. Today we're going to be casting a very exciting match between Flash and Snow. Flash, of course, probably the best player in the history of Brood War and Snow here in the bottom left as the Red Protoss. Definitely one of the stronger Protosses active today. It looks like we're already seeing something aggressive, sending out that fifth probe to go make some kind of proxy. Here we go, this map does have a lot of proxy potential. Uh, the third location at the natural even, and then off to the side. Looks like Snow is slightly heading towards the right side. And is this going to be a 7 pylon? No, okay. So he's, he's making that 8 probe. The fastest gateway you can get is actually 7 pylon and then 7 gateway. So not even going up to 9 workers. And that'll get you your Zella in Terran space before their first marine is out. Here off to the side, pretty close to Flash's natural, and this is hidden well enough that Flash likely won't scout here. Uh, of course, proxies are very common on this map, so Flash should choose to go for that anyway. And well, still making probes, he's going to make his gateway on 9. Now I'm interested to see what he does with this scout. Does he just go directly to Flash's base, or... Okay, no, so he is going back, and he's going to trick Flash. He's going to try to... Uh, dupe him into thinking this that snow is scouting uh, correctly let's see now you can see he's hanging above this high ground here comes flash's scv he has nine on minerals going on with that scout now and look at snow he's just waiting for flash to come and there it is now he reveals the probe and it looks like this probe was just coming here Flash looking for that SCV, I mean that gateway, but he doesn't suspect anything. He still hasn't taken his gas, but he is walling off in his main. Actually, he is taking his gas, just a very, very late gas here. Instant Marine here from Flash. And Snow's going to get in the main and see the SimCity, and this SimCity is pretty good against Zalots. The Marines will be able to funnel in between these two buildings get out of the way of the solid talent that's on the other side and then because marines have range they're going to be pretty effective with this wall snow behind us we see a pylon three on gas and we see flash scouting all of this here's the first zealot again not going to be able to do much so he's trying to get some hits on the marine so with two marines now it should be pretty difficult snow really wants to wait for the second zealot to arrive Good micro by Flash, getting a ton of shot, a ton of shots here. Oh, the probe blocks the marine, doesn't give it an, an angle to escape. And okay, now with three marines, should be an easy defense. Bolstering the Sim City here as well with the second depot. One of the zealots going towards that factory, trying to delay, but the the AI here is awkward because the SUV just hanging on top of the factory, not even going off to the side there. Again, Flash, just very good micro. None of these zealots have gotten two hits on the marines. Looks like all the marines are <clears throat> pretty healthy here. We'll survive one hit, and here comes that third zealot. And this was three, well, this was two zealots, the core, and then a third zealot from Snow. So very aggressive while still teching up two dragoons. With the SCVs blocking here, Flash trying to get some nice damage on these zealots before they can kill his marines. Looks like two marines go down, three marines go down, but... All the Zalots are dead, and Flash is still making Marines, and it looks like he's going to expand. First Dragoon is out, and let's look at the health of these Marines. If these are low, okay, so it looks like we have one hit away on that one. This one is three hits away, so pretty low HP on these Marines. There's no targeting those low HP Marines. Gets two of them, and I think he should just retreat here. Nice block there by Flash, getting a ton of damage done on this Dragoon. Is it going to be trapped? Looks like just barely escapes there. And immediate add-on from Flash, still making more Marines. He's really hunting this Dragoon. It's a couple Marine shots away from dying. Looks like Snow is just going to expand after making a few Dragoons. There's Flash's command center. And he's going to have a tank out pretty soon, so he's very safe here.
non-stop dragoon production here from snow and i guess later on this is kind of going to be a difficult situation if he has to defend this gateway and we see flash going factory second factory even before even getting any more detection snow going robo off one gate pretty normal we should see a second gateway added pretty soon and here's that low hp dragoon so has to be careful here Looks like he wants to pressure the bunker now that Goon range is done. He only has three Dragoons now. Four, much better number. He can two-shot that tank. And there's a second gateway being added. Now Flash does have uh, the command center roughly at the same time. Snow lost a lot of economy going for his proxy. So this is not ideal for Snow. I feel like he needs to do a little bit more damage with that early game. And looks like Flash setting up for timing. Three tank timing here reason you get that second factory so you can go for a quick timing and he's gonna go with three tanks he's making more marines and now snow sees it so snow should be retreating here so he wants to get to one of the tanks gets one of the tanks there second tank very low looks like he's gonna need another volley and snow two tanks for two dragoons very nice trade there has to be careful doesn't want to hang around too long in range of the range of the bunker but he should know flash is intending or was intending on going for a time based on the number of marines here. Oh, very low HP. Dragoon here. Snow has to retreat. He has three dragoons, but with good targeting, Flash should be able to down these dragoons. And there we go. It looks like the tank one hit away. Not able to get that tank is crucial. Now the problem for Snow is going to have very low dragoon count. And even though Flash doesn't have that many tanks, looks like he's just keeping it back here and repairing. Uh, the Vultures should be able to get something done here. It's like one not plugged completely yet. So has a ton of idle probes here. Lots of micro in that fight. And slow vultures going across the map with marines to support. He is getting speed. Also has an armory. Has plus one. And looks like here we go. No, trying to complete that wall. Marines can pass through this gap. Vultures can also as well. Not a complete wall here. Has to pull the probes here. Orchard's laying mines on top of the Dragoon Snow, has to micro back and retreat, doesn't want these mines to detonate, and in the meantime, Vulture's in the middle line, getting a ton of, oh, Vulture Speed just finished, and we have some going up the ramp, while well, this one at the natural is keeping the Dragoons occupied, and this is going to be a ton of economic damage here for Snow, Flash is multitask just on another level here, finally plugging that gap, but it's three Vultures, looks like the one at the natural goes down, but still two in the main, and they're two shotting these probes very quickly going down. And already we see Flash behind us had pretty much impeccable uh, SCV production. When I refer to multitask, you can see Flash attacking and Snow barely hanging on here. But in the meantime, Flash, Flash's worker production hasn't skipped a beat. It's already up to 50 workers basically at 8 minutes, despite all the aggression early game. Now Snow is in big trouble. Half the worker count. I mean, this game flipped so quickly after Snow got those two tanks. It actually looked pretty good for him, but Flash able to go do a ton of damage with that attack. Now he's going up to six factor. He realizes how ahead he is with that attack. Snow's economy is in <clears throat> dire straits here. So one way to just quickly end the game after some economic damage is to go for a timing attack as turn. And that's what we see exactly from Flash. It's going up to six factories. And then he stopped uh, SCV production. No, it looks like he's going to return to make an extra few. Plus one almost done. Looks like we have some vultures again, but very nice wall here from Snow. Killed the egg so his units can leave. And we're working up our tank count. We're at five, or actually we're at four, soon to be six. But these six factory production. Oh, it looks like Snow's trying to pressure here. Oh, this is a lot of Dragoons. Splash has to be careful. This mine is going to be critical. Okay, looks like that mine alone for Snow to pull back, and now he's in trouble. He's getting trapped by vultures from behind. He's microing while he's targeting the, uh, the vultures, but Flash just has, has too much here. Snow does have four gateways, and he is going to Reaver, and I like this. The only way Snow can come back into this game is to get some massive scarabs into Flash's mineral line. He also has to defend from this immediate threat, which is the timing attack. 
He sees it with the observer, of course. Okay, what here goes down. Not that big of a deal. I mean, the pylon is because he's supply block, but losing this production, I mean, he wasn't really going to utilize that gateway any longer. He's trying to get that reaver out. If he can get it to stall to buy some times, reaver scarabs do one-shot vultures, and if they're clumped up like this, they can be uh, very valuable, but it looks like Flash is just pushing across the map. I mean, Flash's game sense is on another level. When he senses an advantage, he usually just ends the game to mine. Is in range of reaver, looks like just barely killed. Flash winning here without siege pretty convincingly. And that's the end of the game there. Very dominant win from Flash here. Defended well early game. And had a very nice timing despite losing some tanks. And Flash just showing he's on a whole nother level. Well, that'll be all for this cast, and uh, please like and subscribe, and see you all next time.